Hello and good evening. My name is John and we're playing The Howler. It's part of my Steam cleaning series where I go through my Steam library and play all the games I have in it and hopefully one day get to the end of that massive, massive backlog I have. Typically I play just a little bit of the beginning to figure out what this game is like, but if it turns out to be good, I might go farther. But we'll see what The Howler has to offer. The game of touch and scream. Alright. Do begin. Do pretty good and good, sir. Well, I guess I'll go to one. Case number one. The leg legate of Vinilus Antonis Sidabaras set off to inspect it, the city from above. He looks for signs of rumorous riots. Mission, fly over the cathedral and land in the bell tower. Voice mode? I don't think I want voice mode. Maybe I'll try it. Later. Alright, use the wind travel left, land on the platform. Press the left mouse button or make noise to go up. Release, be quiet. Okay. Alright. Oh, so that's the region of wind I'm in. Alright. Well, I can't click for help when I'm doing this. Alright, alright. And then I want to land here. I did it! Okay. Case number two. A light signal apparatus is delivered from the cathedral square to the navigators. Pick the signaling device. Land on the roof of the cathedral. Alright, let's do this with a voice. So I need to pick up the parcel. So I need to make a lot of noise so that my balloon goes up. And then get over this hump here. So up, 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 more, 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 and then stop. More, 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 more. Why? Why would I ever play this with a voice? It's a good thing I. It's a good thing that I don't have to worry about crashing too hard. All right, so. A uh, quick brown fox jumped over the lazy red dog, and now we're high enough where I just have to mumble a little bit and talk about this game. Well, so far, visually, he's got this nice little artsy kind of thing with, like, hand drawing, kind of, I guess. And... It's kind of a physically... It's kind of a physically looking game. Case resolved. I would never play with the voice option. Turn that off. Case number three. The navigators work in a Ged and Midas castle on a hill. They are keen to get the apparatus as soon as possible. Drop the parcel in the receptacle and land by the castle. Drop the parcel there. Oh, where's the parcel? Drop the parcel. Tap. Drop the. Or tap the screen with two. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, replay. How do I drop the parcel? How do I drop the parcel? Will it tell me again? Drop. No, it's not on voice mode. Do I click this button? No. Oh, okay. I click there. That's a little awkward. <laughs> Alright, balloon was lost. Land by the castle. Is there a key for that? Do I have to really... Huh. No. How do I restart? Oh no, it crashed! Pay no attention. 
This does seem a bit weird. All right, let's try some more time. Drop parcel there. Space. Okay. I don't know why that worked then. Why would you have two options? So I want to go stay in this area so I can pick up speed. This kind of drops almost straight. And we're good. Case number four. News printed, the new printed newspaper, the news of Lenos, must be distributed by the rise from happening. Pick up the newspapers. That's it. Just pick it up. Pick up parcels. Gain speed. Gain speed. Oh, so I don't pop immediately. Okay, so I need to go back. Go back. And then gain speed this way. Get over that. There you go. All right, case resolved. Number five Steam City is the working quarter where the riot is brewing. The workers must get the newspaper, deliver the newspaper. Drop parcels. All right. Not sure how this newspaper delivery stuff works, but who might explain? Antanas said Abaras is headed to the city airship port. Air traffic is distracted by flying automatons. Ooh, flying automatons. That's fun to say. Move right, then right. Ooh. I don't like this guy. I understand that this is all like hand drawn stuff, but I just the pencil sketches aren't doing it for me, and the lack of animation also doesn't really. Oh, wait, don't I? Yes, I want to go down here. You know, I said they had a target down there on where I'm supposed to go. Oh, I need to get more speed. Really? All right, we'll flutter on down. Oof. I don't know. Case number eight. The underground city of Villas are full of mysteries and dangers. There's writing on the wall announcing the sign of the wolf. 
in a dungeon will lock gates and find a safe place to land. All right. Gates, that's a new mechanic. The wolf. Oh, push that button. That's a little physically, I guess. Wow. Doesn't pop the balloon, though. That does. Good to know. Hmm. Oops. My balloon wasn't lost, I just went up a little too much. Alright, alright. I fall. Oh, okay, so the. <coughs> Okay, so, in a game where some things pop you and some things don't, we need to choose a visual language to signify that. Like, a lot of games put, like, bird droppings on a ledge, or, or red lines, or orange lines, or some indicator that says that is something that will pop you or not. And since this game doesn't, doesn't seem to have that, it's more than a little frustrating. A little frustrating when you don't know what's going to pop you and what's not. Alright. Alright, so this wind is the right direction. Just tap, 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 tap. Let's get over that, go through the wolf there. Guess I'm not fast enough. Okay! Go down. All right. That is incredibly tight there. I don't know, imagine how you would do this with voice activated stuff. So I don't really feel like I'm solving a case here. The legate, the, the legate of Vinales finds the old exit block. He needs explosives to go fast to detonate the barrier. All right, pick up the bombs, and then blow up the bombs. That little cook breaks your balloon. Good to know. I didn't realize they were timed. Alright. That doesn't pop me. That doesn't pop me. That doesn't pop me. Why does that pop me? Oh, come on now, balloon. 
Come on. Big red balloon. So the bomb, I have five bombs. The font is really bad. I can't see that there. No timer, no fuse. Just it just is. Want to go up or down? Well, <laughs> uh, that has been The Holler. Can't remember the name of it. So, talking about this game, let's take a look at the mission list here. What works well? Oh, it was almost done. It's like 16 is all you're at. So, yeah, that's like a two thirds playthrough of The Holler. So, what works well with it? The, the art style's okay. Uh, the, the the pencil drawing, hashing stuff doesn't... it. The fidelity isn't there. Like, I've seen good stuff for that, and I've seen bad, and this one leans not as close to the good side as I would like. And that's personal preference, of course. Music, audio, whatever is fine. Uh, balloon controls. The audio using your voice to play with the balloon controls is terrible. Do not, do not do that. I don't want to see your... I mean, I talk a lot, but I don't want to see your going, ah, to make my balloon go up. Visual language. I mentioned this in the playthrough. Uh, the parts of the level that can hurt and blow up your balloon are not significantly detailed enough to to signify what is safe and what isn't. There were many times where I felt where I had to learn by dying and then have to remember and memorize the parts of the level that were or were not safe. That is poor game design because as a player I want to be able to know the rules of the game I'm playing and this one fails to keep the rules constant and make it feel like I'm learning versus I'm just struggling against arbitrary things. It's the Charlie Brown, Lucy football kind of thing where the football's there and she keeps pulling away from you because she's a jerk. Uh, that has been a holler. Cheers. <laughs>